I started sketching at the age of five. Fortunately, my parents didn't interfere with me. I went on sketching from the market square, people walking, cows crossing the road, and vegetable sellers selling their vegetable. All this I sketched when I was very young, and I became quite professional in my sketches. R. K. Lakshman is a name known to all. One associated not only with cartooning but with a warm wit that resonates with every Indian. Younger brother to another Indian treasure, the novelist R. K. Narayan, Mr. Lakshman started with cartooning in Mysore, illustrating for magazines such as Swarajya and Blitz, and illustrating his brother's stories for the Hindu. Propelled by his hard work, deft strokes and razor wit, he soon found himself working for the Times of India, with his own regular editorial cartoons on the front page, daily, a career that lasted over 60 years, reigning as India's foremost cartoonist, chronicling some of our country's brightest hours, as well as our darkest, and inspiring generations of cartoonists in his wake. I remember seeing him in the Illustrated Weekly in the, in the 50s, and I was, I was greatly impressed and you know, inspired by his work. And when I discovered that he was only in his, in his 20s, I, I was absolutely dumbstruck. I said, my God, look at this man. He's, he's a genius. I could not have my morning tea without seeing Lakshman's You Said It cartoon in the Times. It habit ho gai uski. It was impossible not to smile first thing in the morning when you saw that pocket cartoon but because it reflected exactly what you and I felt. Mr. Lakshman was once asked by a lady at a party how he manages to make a new cartoon every day to which he replied, Madam, there aren't enough days. Despite suffering a stroke in 2003 that dealt a heavy blow to his health, Mr. Lakshman was not stopped and in 2005 received the Padma Vibhushan for his services to the cultural and artistic development of India. Mr. R. K. Lakshman has been awarded other much more prestigious awards before, felicitations that our humble trophy cannot hope to stand up against. But we hope that Mr. Lakshman accepts this award as a token of what his work means to us working in the field of illustration, comics and cartooning and for being an icon for us all.